enjoy the class. Welcome to the palace. Enjoy the class. So just find your way and get settled. Become still, become focused. And start to become aware that we're about to practice. And through this awareness of practice, just bring yourself into a mindset that is focused and singular. So I wanted to speak today at the end of, I think it was at the end of last year. Time's gone a bit blurry since this whole thing happened, but um, Joaquin Phoenix won an award, a, a trophy, a very famous trophy, um, an Oscar or one of those awards. I'm not too upskilled on all of them, but um, for a performance he did. And he used the speech time to, to speak about inequality in the world. And he delivered a very beautiful message that went quite viral. And I was blown away with the, the speech that he made and heavily based upon animal, animal rights. But I think that one very important element that he really touched on as well that was sort of overlooked by the power of the vegan movement that he spoke of was the ability of human beings to empower each other. And that ability of human beings to empower each other through compassion and through kindness. And the difference that it makes when we treat each other in this way. So what happened when he was speaking was I felt a shift in myself. I was listening to him speak from his heart, communicate from his heart. And it was wonderful in the sense that the more he opened himself up, the more I found myself being, being shifted into this way of thinking that if we take our time to understand the person that we're trying to help, as opposed to just preach our message at everybody all the time. That's when the real message can be delivered. Because I know myself, when someone is sort of forcing their ideologies upon me, regardless of my attachment to what they're trying to say, I will reject the message because of my own individual self or my own ego. And yoga is teaching us a lot about the disillusion of the ego and Patanjali has a number of chapters that speak of things relating to the disillusion of the self but the first and most important one that I can effectively integrate into my own life is the yamas and yama re translates to restraint and so the yamas are five five things Ahimsa, Satya, Asteya, Brahmacharya, and Aparigraha. And so Ahimsa being non-violence, Satya being truth, Asteya, non-stealing, Brahmacharya, continence, mindful use of your sexual energy, and Aparigraha is kind of attachment to things. So in order to become aware of these things, it's very important that we practice humility when we're practicing these things. For example, if I was to say, I am a vegan, I don't like non-vegans. I've kind of contradicted myself in the way of, I've created a separation between myself and all others because I have chosen to compartmentalize myself as one thing and not another. This is a hindrance. This stops us from being able to achieve the true goal. So as we practice these things, truthfulness, non-stealing, mindful use of our sexuality, do it from a place of humility. And how we do it from a place of humility is by understanding that one element of our lives does not make us perfect. Because we practice one of the things does not mean that we have like a sense of superiority over anybody else. Everybody is trying to do things in their own way. And this sense of humility allows us to be able to help and support each other and then understand each other. When we understand each other, we can connect truly with ourselves and with each other. And this power of human connection that comes from this sense of humility is really powerful. And especially in this time, 
when we log in and we see everybody here and we see each other going through the process of adapting to a life indoors, adapting to a different circumstances, it humbles us to the sense of we understand the trials and tribulations of each other's lives. And it's been a big lesson for me over the past, however long, five weeks now, that everybody goes up and down in their own rhythm. And if you're having one of the days that is difficult, it's very empowering when someone comes to you with a sense of humility, rather than a sense of preaching their rights down your throat. So as we come to our mats today, I really invite you to do it with a sense of humility and a sense of compassion towards yourself and towards others. And just take that through your practice, humbly moving through the postures, without attachment, without desire, here to practice for yourself and for others. So come into child's pose and touch your forehead to the floor. The first step is we will engage through our breath. And as you breathe in, be fully aware of the in-breath. Feel the breath as it enters your body. Know you are breathing in. Breathing out, fully aware of the out-breath. You feel the breath as it leaves your body. You know you are breathing out. Arriving in this present moment, we awaken our vow to cut all disturbances. This is our time for practice. Take another moment just to feel yourself in this position as if you are bowing, bowing to yourself, bowing to all those that have helped you around you, bowing to the circumstances that have been presented before you without attachment, without desire. Let this just fill you up. Be still and extend your arms forward in front of your body. Separate the fingers wide, press the palms evenly down, tuck the toes under and lift up into a downward facing dog. Ardo Mukha Svanasana. Just take your time, move your hips organically, move the breath deep into the back of the lungs, push the air all the way out. There's a subtle restriction in the vocal cords, resulting in the oceanic sound of the breath. This restriction in the vocal cords causes a vibration of the air as it moves through the throat. And as it enters the lungs, the air is warmer. This warm air effectively enters the bloodstream. And as it's positively charged, it goes through the bloodstream all the way through our body, creating a purification process known as yoga chikitsa. So the idea of the yoga asanas is to push the air deep into the tissues of the muscles, creating a deeper level of purification. So as you inhale, move your body forward into a plank pose. Exhale, drop your knees, your chest and your chin to the floor. Keep your elbows tucked in. Inhale, slide your body forward into Bhujangasana. Exhale, tuck your toes, press your seat back, downward facing dog. Breathe in. Breathe out. Inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale. Again, inhale forward into a plank. Exhale, lower knees, chest and chin down. Elbows are tight and tucked in. Inhale forward into cobra. Exhale, tuck toes, press the seat back, downward facing dog. Breathe in, breathe out. Walk the hands back towards the feet, lift the sitting bones nice and high. Then take your elbows and just fold your body forward, let the crown of the head hang. Deep, full inhales. Deep, full exhales. Relax the muscles in the back of the neck, your head is hanging, the crown of the head is falling towards the floor. Switch the arms, take the other elbow with the other hand. Good, now just let your arms be heavy. Let your legs be strong, grow roots down through your feet. See if you can feel your feet penetrating down deeply into the earth. This connection, this strength forms a base. And when we're building anything, we want a strong, stable foundation. The stronger the foundation, the bigger the building. 
The deeper the roots, the stronger the tree. Place the hands on the floor and walk back into a downward facing dog. Keep the hips high. Good. Inhale, lift up onto the toes. Exhale, bend the left knee, lower the right heel to the floor. Inhale, come up. Exhale, bend the left knee, lower the right heel down. Inhale, come up. Exhale, switch. Find that rhythm. Inhale, come up. Exhaling, switch. Inhale up. Exhale, switch. One more time. Inhale, go up. Exhale, switch it over. Inhale, come up. Exhale, both heels down to the floor. Inhale, walk your feet towards your hands. Stop when they're just behind. And then fold forward again. This time, just let your arms hang forward. Backs of the hands can be touching the ground. And just sway your torso from side to side. It's like a big, tall tree swaying in the wind. Firmly grounded so it knows it's not going to fall over but enjoying the sensations of the wind passing it by, letting it move from side to side. And then tiptoe your feet out so they're as wide as your mat. Have your toes facing slightly outwards. Bend the knees deeply, come into a deep squat. Bring the hands into prayer, push the elbows into the knees, clear the chest, open the heart. Crown of the head reaches up. Good, sink down into your hips, lift your chest, Engage Mula Bandha. Feel the pelvic floor muscles. Lift them in and up. Feel that space that gets created in the pelvis when you do this. And extend the arms back to the floor. Extend through the legs. Tiptoe your feet to standing. Roll up vertebrae by vertebrae very slowly. Good. Arriving in Tadasana. So Tadasana, our feet are touching. All four corners of each foot is pressing down into the mat. Our tailbone tucks slightly under. Ribs are tucked in. Shoulders are away from the ears, back and down. Chest is lifted. Gaze is straight forward. Be strong like a mountain. Embody the mountain. And a mountain does not get deterred by bad weather or challenging conditions. A mountain stays solid. Good, bring your hands together in front of your heart. As we touch our breathing one more time before we begin, breathing in, we are fully aware of the in-breath. Breathing out, fully aware of the out-breath. And then arriving in this present moment, we awaken our vow to cut all disturbances. This is our time for practice. All together inhaling. Oh. Exhale, release your arms alongside your body. Surya Namaskar A. As you inhale, take your arms up overhead, reach up. Exhale, fold all the way forward. Uttanasana. Inhale, lengthen. Now pull your torso forward. Exhale, step it back, lower down. Chaturanga Dandasana. Inhale, Udva Mukha Svanasana. Exhale, Adho Mukha Svanasana. Sitting bones lift back and up. Inhale. Exhale one. Breathe in. Breathe out two. Inhale. Exhale three. Inhale. Exhale four. Inhale. Exhale, soften the knees, look four. Inhale, step the feet, lengthen the spine, look four. Exhale, fold yourself in. Inhale, lift your arms, lift your torso, look up. Exhale, release. Again, with movement and breath, inhale, go up, reach up. Exhale, fold yourself forward. Inhale, lengthen, pull your torso forward. Exhale, jump back, Chaturanga Dandasana. Inhale, upward facing dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Good, keep the breath moving. Challenge your sitting bones to lift higher. Imagine someone's pulling you up from the hips. You're feeling elevated, suspended from the hips. Feel your fingertips, spread them wide. Press all four corners of hands and feet down into the floor. Try and extend the legs a little bit deeper whilst lifting the sitting bones a little bit higher. Make sure the ribs stay tucked in. 
Make sure the head is relaxed, no tension in the neck. Your shoulders are away from your ears. Your upper arms are rotating outwards, creating space between the shoulders. Inhale, step or jump. Lengthen the spine, look forward. Exhale, folding. Inhale, take your arms up overhead, look up. Exhale, release. One more movement and breath. Inhale, arms go up. Exhale, fold all the way forward. Inhale, lengthen the spine, look forward. Exhale, step or jump, chaturanga. Inhale, upward facing dog. Exhaling, downward facing dog. Stay here, breathe in, breathe out. Now engage all your muscles. Press the hands, press the feet down, really warm the body up. Now circulate the breath deeply through your body. Feel that circulation, feel it warming your body from the inside out. Take this time to be present with the warm up of the practice. Don't rest here. Keep pressing down, keep lifting higher, keep engaging more. Keep breathing deeper. Feel your lungs expanding, really breathe with your body. Inhale, step the feet between the hands, lengthen the spine and look full. Exhale, fold in. Inhale, lift the arms, lift the torso, look up. Exhale, release. Good, deeply bend the knees. Inhale, Utkatasana, chair pose. Exhale, fold forward and extend through your legs. Inhale, lengthen your spine, look forward. Exhale, step or jump, chaturanga. Inhale, upward facing dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Right foot steps forward, left heel down. Inhale, up, warrior one. Exhale, hands to the floor, back you go, Chaturanga Dandasana. Inhale, upward facing dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Left foot steps forward, right heel down. Inhale, come up, warrior one. Exhale, hands to the floor, step back, Chaturanga. Inhale, upward facing dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Breathe in, breathe out. Inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale. Follow the breath in, follow the breath out. Following your breathing fully will lead to awakenings in your body. Just stay with your breath, follow it to full completion. Follow it for as long as you can. Inhale, step or jump, spine long, gaze full. Exhale, fold in. Now deeply bend the knees, Utkatasana, chair pose. Exhale, release Tadasana, Jiva Mukti Surya Namaskar. Inhale, hook your thumbs, reach up, arch back. Exhale, bend your knees, swing your arms behind your back, fold in. Inhale, place the hands on the floor, step back into lunge. Exhale, left foot next to the right, downward facing dog. Inhale, forward into plank. Exhale, Chaturanga Dandasana. Inhale, Udva Mukha Svanasana. Exhale, Ardha Mukha Svanasana. Inhale, forward into plank. Exhale, lower knees, chest, chin, elbows are tight. Inhale, forward into cobra, roll your shoulders open. Exhale, tuck toes, seat to heels, extend the legs. Inhale, step the right foot forward to lunge, look forward. Exhale, left foot next to right, fold in. Inhale, bend the knees, hook the thumbs, extend your legs, then arch your back. Exhale, bend knees, swing arms behind you, extend your legs, fold. Inhale, hands to floor, left foot back into lunge, look forward. Exhale, right foot next to left, down dog. Inhale, forward to plank. Exhale, Chaturanga Dandasana. Inhale, up dog. Exhale, down dog. Inhale, Palakasana, plank pose. Exhale, lower knees, chest, chin. Inhale, forward, Bhujangasana. Exhale, tuck toes, press seat to heels, down dog. Inhale, left foot steps forward to lunge. Exhale, right foot next to left, fold yourself in. Inhale, hook your thumbs, reach up and arch back. Exhale, release, Tadasana. Good morning, Shriya. See, nothing's changed in the online format. Separate your feet hip distance apart and parallel. Good. Press your hands onto your hips, arch back, ground through your feet, lengthen, and then exhale, fold yourself forward. Soften the knees, peace grip the big toes. Good. Now, 
as you piece grip your big toes, the piece fingers, the two fingers go around the toe and then the thumb locks on. It forms a mudra and it forms an energetic circuit within your body. Now bend your knees as you inhale, lengthen the spine, look forward. Exhale, fold forward and extend your legs. Inhale, bend the knees, lengthen the spine, look forward. Exhale, fold in, keep the lock of the thumb. Inhale, bend the knees, look forward. Exhale, fold over, stay now, breathe in. Breathe out, elbows wide, shoulders away from the ears, long neck. Feet press firmly down. See if you can lift your sitting bones a little bit more towards the sky. Good, shift a little bit more weight into your toes. Crown of the head reaches towards the floor. Feel the backs of the legs expanding, let them open. One more deep breath. Inhale, lengthen the spine, look forward. Exhale, place your hands on your hips. Inhale with the flat back, go all the way up. Exhale, step your feet back together. Inhale, arms go up. Exhale, fold forward, Uttanasana. Inhale, lengthen the spine, look forward. Exhale, step or jump, Chaturanga. Inhale, Urva Mukha Svanasana. Exhale, Adho Mukha Svanasana. Inhale. Now exhale, soften your knees, look forward. Inhale, step the feet between the hands, deeply bend the knees and come into Utkatasana. Step your feet between your hands and come into chest. Good. Sink lower, squeeze your knees together. Reach your fingertips a little bit higher. Good. Now keep your knees bent like they are. Just take your torso forward, touch your ribs onto your thighs. <clears throat> Reach the fingertips forward, take your arms up a little bit, breathe deep. Now see if you can press your sitting bones back and reach your fingertips forward. Bend lower through the hips. More bend in the knees, good. Stay there. Reach forward with the fingertips. Reach back with the sitting bones. Extend through the side body. Exhaling, fold forward and extend through your legs. Inhale, lengthen the spine and look forward. Exhale, step or jump, Chaturanga Dandasana. Inhale, upward facing dog. Exhaling, downward facing dog. Right foot steps forward, keep the back heel up, come up into a high lunge. Good, stay there, reach your fingertips high. Bend your right leg a little bit more. Now, keep reaching your fingertips up, then start to arch back and reach the fingertips towards the back of the room. Good, keep reaching up, keep bending the right leg deep, but stay strong through the left leg. Left heel presses back. Keep reaching up, arch back a little bit more. Good, now exhale, drop your left knee to the floor. Keep reaching up and back, keep arching back, follow it a little bit deeper, breathe deep into the lungs, good. One more breath, inhale, exhale, hands to the floor, step it back lower, Chaturanga Dandasana. Inhale, upward facing dog. Exhaling, downward facing dog. Breathe in, breathe out. Inhale, step the left foot forward. Keep the right heel up, come up into a high lunge, strong. Reach your fingertips high, bend your left knee deep and keep your right heel pressing back. Stay strong and stay with your breath. Now start to arch back. Good. Then drop the back knee to the floor. Slowly and keep arching back, sink down into the hips, good. Reach the fingertips high, you want space through between the vertebrae. One more breath, yes. Exhale, hands to the floor, step back, Chaturanga Dandasana. Inhale, Urdhva Mukha Svanasana. Exhaling, Adho Mukha Svanasana. Breathe in, breathe out, breathe in, breathe out. Good, step your feet 30 centimeters behind your hands. Get ready for Bakasana. So keep your hands directly underneath your shoulders. Bring your knees as high up into the armpits as you can. Bend your elbows, shift your weight into your fingertips. Lift the sitting bones towards the sky and lift the feet off the floor. Now, once you're up, squeeze your elbows together. Try and create space in the neck. You don't want to have too much tension in your neck. Good. Weights in the fingertips. See if you can just lift your seat a little bit higher. Good. Stay with that. Breathe. And on the next exhale, shoot it back, Chaturanga Dandasana. Inhale, Urdhva Mukha Svanasana. Exhale, Adho Mukha Svanasana. Breathe in. 
Breathe out. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Good. Inhale. Step the right foot forward, left heel to the floor. Come up, warrior one. Exhale, open it up, warrior two. Inhale, extend your right leg. Now, stop for a moment here. Check that the right foot is in line with the left inner arch. Squeeze your legs together and stabilize your base. Take your arms wide and put energy all the way into your fingertips. Reach your right fingertips as far forward as you can, pressing the left hip towards the back of the room. Then go down, take the right hand to the shin, the foot or the floor. Left arm straight up to the sky. Keep your ribs tucked in. Roll your left hip on top of your right. Press the ball of your right foot firmly down into the floor. Activate your right leg a little bit more and try and extend the right leg forward into the floor if you can. Extend both sides of your body forward, crown of the head reaches forward. Good, keep that activation in your legs. Inhale. Now exhale, look down. Shift the right hand forward in front of the right hand, bend the right knee slightly. Inhale, lift the left leg off the floor and come up. Ardha Chandrasana. Find your balance. Yeah. Look up to the left hand if you can. Left arm straight up, Gonzo. Breathe in. Breathe out. Stable base. Good. Roll the left hip on top of the right a little bit more. Good. Now look down. Slowly lower the left leg down to the back of the mat and inhale, come all the way up into a warrior two. Exhale there. Inhale, windmill your hands to the floor and step back into a plank. Exhale, lower Chaturanga Dandasana. Inhale, upward facing dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Left foot, step it forward, right heel down. Come up, warrior one. Exhale, open it up, warrior two. Good, extend through your left leg now. Now, have a look down. Make sure your left heel is in line with the right inner arch. Squeeze your legs together from this position. Feel that energy in your hips and feel it lengthen your head up. Now reach your left fingertips as far forward as you can, pressing your right hip to the back of the room and then take the left hand to the floor, right arm reaches high. Extend both sides of your body here, not just one side. Both sides of your body lengthen, crown of the head reaches forward. Press the ball of the left foot down a little bit more. Make sure the outside edge of the right foot has contact with the floor and then see if you can Take the gaze all the way to the right fingertips. Stay with it a little bit longer. Squeeze your legs together. Exhale, look down, soften the left knee. Place the left hand to the floor in front of you. And as you inhale, lift your right leg off the floor. Come up into Ardha Chandrasana. If it feels okay, look up to your left, right fingertips. Breathe deep. Roll the hip on top. Open up strong foundation through the base. Stay with it. One more deep breath. Good, now soften the left leg and lower the right heel down and as you inhale, find your way into warrior two. Exhale there. Inhale, windmill the hands to the floor, step back, Chaturanga Dandasana. Inhale, Urdhva Mukha. Exhale, Ardha Mukha. Breathe in, breathe out. Inhale, exhale, good. Inhale, move your body forward into a plank. Exhale, drop down onto your forearms into a low plank. Hold yourself here. Make sure there's one straight line from your shoulders to your ankles. Press your heels back and the crown of the head forward. Pull the abdomen in, compress your abdomen onto your spinal column. Go on to just lower your hips a little bit. Feel the crown of the head reach forward. Feel the shoulders, press them down into the floor. Stay with your breath, be composed. Now walk the feet in, take it into a dolphin. Lift the sitting bones high. Move the chest towards the thighs. Let the head hang between the hands. No tension in your neck. Good. As you inhale, move your chin forward in front of your hands. As you exhale, lift the hips back and up into a dolphin. Inhale, come forward, chin in front of the hands if you can. Exhale, take it back, good. Breathe in, come forward. Exhale, go back. 
One more. Inhale, forward. Exhale, go back. Inhale, lift up, downward facing dog. Exhale there. Good, drop the knees to the floor. Keep the hands where they are and then set up for tripod headstand. So move your hands back a little bit actually. You wanna take the crown of the head to the floor in front of your hands. Okay. Tripod headstand. Okay. I will do the tripod headstand for you. So hands here. Crown of the head goes in front. One knee lifts up onto the tricep, the other knee lifts up. From here we lift up into the sky, squeezing the legs together, keeping the corners engaged. Reach up with the inner thighs, active through the legs. A bit tired, right? Okay. And slowly come down. Find your way into child's pose. And let your breath become deep, calm and relaxed, stable. Now I always enjoy the moments when the practice really pushes you to your limit and then softens and you find yourself vulnerable, exposed, And it's when the practice really permeates for me, you know, it really penetrates deep when I feel myself pushed to my limit, thinking I can't take any more. Extend your arms forward, tuck your toes under, take it back, downward facing dog. Deep breath in, deep breath out. Inhale, exhale, inhale. Exhale, good, inhale, move forward into plank. Exhale, lower knees, chest and chin down. Elbows are tucked and tight. Inhale, forward into cobra. Exhale, tuck your toes, press your seat back downward facing dog. Listen carefully, inhale, step the right foot between the hands. Exhale, lower the left heel down onto the floor. Inhale, reach the right fingertips straight up. Exhale, take your right arm overhead with your palm facing down. Pashvokanasana. Extended side angle. Breathe in. <laughs> Breathe out. Sorry, I've messed that up. <laughs> We're here. The left arm reaches up. Now press your right palm firmly down into the floor and roll your left shoulder on top of your right. Reach your left fingertips further forward. Press the outside edge of your right heel down. Now your right knee presses into your right armpit. Open through the chest. Roll your chest open. Good. Breathe in. Breathe in. Inhale, take the left hand to the floor. Lift the back heel. Exhale, extend the right leg. Step the back foot in slightly, ground the heel. Lengthen the spine and look forward. Exhale, fold over your leg. Good, now you wanna squeeze your legs together here. Folding yourself forward. Keep your collarbones expanded. Breathe deep. Good, now interlace your fingers behind your back and roll your arms overhead. Tuck your chin into your chest and see if you can extend your head forward. Keep working there. Inhale, come up halfway. Exhale, soften the front leg. Inhale, lift the left leg off the floor, warrior three position. See if you can keep your arms behind your back. If not, release them down, it's okay. Be strong through the standing leg, like a mountain. Core is engaged, deep, full breathing. Good. Release the hands to the floor, lengthen the spine, look yourself forward. Exhale, fold in and lift the back leg, standing splits. Lift it high to the sky. Deep breath in. Deep breath out. Inhale. Exhale. Now inhale, lengthen the spine and look forward. Exhale, spiral the left knee to the outside edge of the right foot, almost touch the floor. Inhale, go back and up, extend. 
Exhale, spiral it down. Inhale, go back and up. Exhale, spiral it all the way down and take a seat on the floor, setting up for Adha Mati and Drasana. Now ground your sitting bones firmly here. Press firmly down and as you inhale, reach your left arm up, lengthen the spine. Then as you exhale, twist to the right, look over your right shoulder, hook your left elbow on your right knee. If you feel a little bit deeper and you want to go for a bind, take the bind. Good, keep lifting the chest on the inhale, then on the exhale as you twist yourself in a little bit deeper. Use the breath to access the posture deeper. Now twisting postures, they, they cleanse through the midline of the body where all our central organs are, they squeeze and detoxify. Send the breath deep into the back of the lungs. Good, inhale back to center. Exhale, derotate to the other side. Inhale, come back to center. Sweep the right leg to the back of the mat. And exhale, take it back downward facing dog. Breathe in, breathe out. Inhale, exhale. Good, now let's see if I can get this right this time. Inhale, step your left foot between your hands. Exhale, lower the right heel down to the floor. Inhale, reach the right arm up to the sky. And exhale, extend your right arm overhead, rolling your chest open. There we go, breathe deep. Reach your right fingertips forward. Roll your chest open. Press your left palm down into the floor. You wanna stack the shoulders on top of each other and you wanna feel the right side of your body getting longer. Breathe deep. One more deep breath. Good. Inhale, right hand to the floor, back heel lifts. Exhale, extend through the front leg. Step the back foot in slightly and ground the heel. Square the hips, lengthen the spine. Exhale, fold yourself in. Good, now make sure you keep the action of squeezing your legs together. S slowly rolling the hips to square. You wanna check in with your hips at all times. Crown of the head is reaching forward. Deep, full breathing. Now interlace your fingers, tuck your chin to your chest and take your arms overhead. Create a little bit more space. Good. Stay here for one more breath. Inhale, lift the torso up halfway and soften the left leg. Exhale there. Inhale, lift the right leg off the floor. Find warrior three. See if you can do it without losing the arms. Good. Level out through the hips if you can. Standing leg presses firmly down. Stay with it for one more breath. Wonderful. Hands to the floor, lengthen your spine, look full. Exhale, fold in, standing splits. Breathe in. Breathe out. Inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale. Good, inhale, lengthen the spine, look forward. Exhale, spiral the right knee to the outside edge of the left foot, almost touch it down. Inhale, go back and up, extend. Exhale, spiral it down, almost touch the floor. Inhale, go back and up. Exhale, spiral it all the way down and take a seat. Now, Intentionally look at your sitting bones. Make sure both your sitting bones are pressed down into the floor. Then from there, you're gonna lift your right arm right up, lengthen the side of your body, and exhale, you're gonna to twist to the left, hook the right elbow on the knee, lifting through the chest as you inhale, then exhaling, you're twisting deeper. And then you consistently use the breath to access the posture deeper. Inhale, you feel your sitting bones press down and you feel the crown of the head reach higher. Then exhale, you find you've created some space for you to twist a little bit deeper. Keep following that process. Stay here. Be composed. Follow your breath. Inhale back to center. Exhale, derotate. Inhale, back to center, sweep the left foot to the back of the mat. And as you exhale, take it back downward facing dog. Breathe in, breathe out. Inhale, exhale. Good, inhale, step the right foot between the hands, low lunge. Now walk your hands over to the side of the mat, parallel your feet. So you've come around, your feet are parallel, your legs are extended. Now your hands are pressing down into the floor underneath your shoulders. Engage through the inner line of your legs and feel your inner arches lift. 
As you lengthen your spine, look forward, squeeze your legs in together, then exhale, fold forward, and try and lift your sitting bones up towards the sky while you do this. The engagement through the legs is gonna give you the access a little bit deeper. If you can walk your hands back between your feet, press your palms down evenly, keeping your elbows tucked in. Good, keep your shoulders relaxed away from your ears, have your spine long. The firmer you press the inside line of your legs down into the floor, the more activation through the legs you're gonna get, the deeper you're gonna be able to fold yourself forward. Challenge your sitting bones to lift a little bit higher. And just let your breath be constant, always going in or out. One more deep breath in, deep breath out. Now inhale, lengthen the spine, look forward. Exhale, place your hands on your hips. Inhale with the flat back, come all the way up. Exhale there. Good. Take your arms wide. Now interlace your fingers behind your back. Roll your shoulders back and down. Lift your chest. Reach the chest up towards the sky. Arch back a little more. Then exhale, fold forward, taking the chin to the chest and rolling the arms overhead. If you can touch the palms together, do so. Same thing with the legs. You want to squeeze them firmly into the floor. The more you squeeze down, lift your inner arches up, the more your arms are going to be go over the back of your head. Keep your breath fluid. Relax and challenge your sitting bones a little bit higher. One more deep breath in. Deep breath out. Good. Release the palms to the floor. Walk your palms back to frame the right foot. And exhale, step back downward, facing dog. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale, take your right leg to the sky. Exhale, right knee to the chin. Use the core. Inhale, go back and up. Exhale, right knee to the chin again. Good, follow that. Inhale, back and up. Exhale, right knee to the chin. Inhale, back and up. Exhale, right knee to the chin. One more time. Inhale, back and up. Exhale, right knee to the chin. Hold it there. Good. Squeeze, press the floor away. Round your spine a little bit more. Lift your knee to your chin a little bit more. Good. Now look forward. Land the right foot between the hands. Inhale, lift the arms, lift the torso, high lunge. Exhale there. Inhale, extend the right leg. Exhale, rebend. Inhale, extend. Exhale, rebend. Inhale, extend. Exhale, rebend. Stay. Press the left heel back more. Bend your right knee a little bit deeper. Lift your chest, but keep your tailbone tucked under. Feel your shoulders reach them up, but keep them away from the ears. Breathe deep. Inhale, take the hands to the floor, step back. Chaturanga Dandasana. Inhale, up dog. Exhale, down dog. Left side, inhale, reach the left leg up. Exhale, left knee to the chin. Inhale, back and up. Exhale, left knee to chin. Inhale, back and up. Exhale, knee to chin. Inhale, go back and up. Exhale, knee to chin. One more time. Inhale, reach it up. Exhale, knee to chin. Hold. Now press your hands down into the floor. Pull the knee closer into the chin. Create roundedness through your spine. Inhale, look forward. Exhale, land the left foot between the hands. Inhale, lift the arms, lift the torso. Exhale there. Inhale, extend your left leg. Exhale, rebound. Inhale, extend. Exhale, rebound. Inhale, extend. Exhale, rebound. Stay. Just make sure your left leg is firmly planted down. Then press the right heel back. Try and have your right leg fully extended. Lift the chest, but keep the tailbone tucked under. Fingertips reach up. Shoulders stay away from the ears. Bend the front leg a little bit more. There it is, breathe. Inhale, place the hands to the floor, step back to plank. Exhale, Chaturanga. Inhale, Udva Mukha Svanasana. 
Exhale, Adho Mukha Svanasana. Bring the right knee to the right wrist, setting up for pigeon. So you want your right shin bone parallel to the front edge of the mat. If that's not possible, have it at a 45 degree angle. Walk the left leg back towards the back of the room. See if you can get your seat close to the floor. Lift the chest, clear the heart. Then exhale, go down. Take your forearms to the floor and place your forehead on your forearms. Now, this is a posture of deep surrender. You'll find the calmer you become, the more your right hip's gonna open for you. Send your breath deep into your right hip. Let go of any phenomenon, any attachments, any desires, any separation of self. Just be with this moment and allow your right hip to open up. Surrendering forward. Good, and then slowly bring the hands back to the floor. Press down into the floor, take it back into a downward facing dog. Just move your knees, just move your hips, pedal out the feet, just get some blood back into that right leg for a little bit. Now bring the left knee to the left wrist, setting up for pigeon on the other side. So the left shin bone ideally is parallel to the front edge of the mat, but if that's not possible, you put it at 45 degrees. Lift your chest and walk your right leg back. Then fold forward, take your forearms to the floor and deeply surrender. Let go. Breath deep into your left hip. Then if you find yourself becoming comfortable and you wanna go a little bit deeper, just walk your right leg back a little bit. Feel it create that length and that space. We'll open the posture up a little bit. And bring the hands to the floor, lift up. Tuck the toe under and take it back into a downward facing dog. Just pedal out through the feet. Yes, inhale forward into plank. Exhale, drop your knees to the floor. Now walk your fingertips forward and take your chest down onto the mat. The idea here is that the chin and the chest are touching the floor. Yes, you can be on a block, Papa, that's perfect. You want to feel your thoracic part, which is the upper part of your spine really opening. So your hips are up high and you're just stretching the fingertips forward. It might even help to make a cup shape with your fingertips, press them down into the floor and just feel the space being created in the vertebrae. And then slowly walk the fingertips back underneath the shoulders, tuck the toes, take it back down with facing dog. Step your right foot to the outside edge of your right hand. Drop your left knee down to the floor. Bring your right hand to your right knee and push your right knee out to the side. Roll the right hip open so you're on the outside edge of your right foot. Take the gaze up and over the right shoulder. See if you can really press the right knee out to the side and extend your right arm fully. So the right hand on the right knee. There it is. Stay here, good. Now come back to center, bring the hands to the floor. Tuck the left toe under and extend through the left leg. Press your left heel back, drop down onto your forearms if it feels okay. Open that right hip right up. Press the left heel back, crown of the head reaches forward, sink your body forward, pull your elbows in towards your body and feel space get created through the back. Good, hands back to the floor. And on the next exhale, step back, downward facing dog. Left foot steps to the outside edge of the left hand. Right knee drops to the floor. 
left hand to the left knee, the inside of your left knee, and push your left knee out to the side. Try and create space through your collarbones. Look out over your left shoulder. You're on the outside edge of your left foot and your left hip is rolling open. Now sink your hips further down towards the floor. Move the pelvis down towards the floor. Stay for one more breath. Good, now bring both hands back to the center. Tuck the right toe under and extend through the right leg. If you're comfortable here, stay or drop down onto the forearms. If you're on your forearms, make sure your right heel is pressing back and your right leg is fully extended. Pull the elbows in towards the body. Feel it create space. Lengthen the spine. You want to be long through the spine. You want to try and remove any rounding from your spine if possible. Slowly come back onto the hands. Exhale, step it back downward facing dog. Inhale, forward to plank. Exhale, drop knees, chest and chin to floor. Inhale, forward into Bhujangasana. Now stay in Bhujangasana. While we're in Bhujangasana, press your pelvis firmly down, roll your shoulders back, squeeze your elbows in together. Now see if you can take your hands off the floor, but keep your shoulders where they are. Then see if you can lift your shoulders a little bit higher. See if you can squeeze the scapulas together, your shoulder blades, bring them in together, squeezing those back muscles in. Lengthen the crown of the head forward and feel your neck be long. Wonderful. Place the hands back on the floor, tuck the toes under, take it back downward facing dog. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale, forward into plank. Exhale, chaturanga, and hold your chaturanga. Now you're in chaturanga. Keep your chest off the floor. Squeeze your elbows together. Be long, be extended. Your elbows should be directly on top of your wrists. So your chest has moved forward in front of your hands. Now drop down onto your abdomen. Bend both knees and catch your ankles from the outside edges. Setting up here, we want to roll our shoulders open and create space through the collarbones. Your knees want to be hip distance apart. You want to keep your feet hip distance apart as well. Kicking your feet into your hands creates pulling. So kick your feet into your hands and pull yourself up as you inhale. Now you should be on your abdomen. So you should feel slightly that you rock forward and back as you breathe deeply. That means you're on the right spot. If you're not rocking back and forth, play around with it until you find that you're resting on the diaphragm. That's where you want to be. Now kick your feet a little bit harder into your hands. Don't let your knees splay out to the side too much. Kick a little bit harder, lift a little bit higher. Exhale, lower down one cheek to the floor. Extend the legs, move the hips from side to side. Good, now bring your hands underneath your shoulders. Now, from here, just take your hands slightly wider. Press your hands down and extend your arms, lifting the chest. Now, you might just want to stay in this position with the pelvis pressed down. If you want a little bit more challenge, bend both knees. Bring the soles of the feet to slightly touch and see if you can reach the crown of the head for the soles of the feet. Beautiful, I can see everybody perfect. And then release down slowly onto your abdomen. Bring the hands underneath the shoulders, press the seat back to the heels, take it back downward facing dog. We'll come into Ustrasana, so inhale forward into plank. Exhale, drop your knees to the floor, lift up so you're standing on your knees. Now let's have a quick look at everything we need to know about Ustrasana. There's two options. Gonza, can you show toes tucked under slightly? So you can tuck your toes under like this. You're going to get less of a back bend. But if you have your toes tucked under like this, it's good because you'll feel a little bit more of the things that I'm trying to explain. So if you know you can do it comfortably, point your toes, that's okay. First thing we're going to look at is the engagement of the knees pressing down. It's like when you press your feet down into the floor, but this time you're pressing your knees down into the floor. That's what forms your base. So as you press your knees firmly down into the floor, you want to 
extend that energy all the way to the crown of the head so that you're becoming longer through your spine. Now bring your hands to your tailbone. Feel your tailbone, lengthen it down and forward. Press the hips forward. Keep pressing the knees firmly down as you press your hips forward. Once your hips move forward, lift your chest high. Create space between each vertebrae in the back and the neck. So that means the crown of the head needs to be extended too. Keep pressing the hips forward and then arch your back back all the way and see if you can release the arms and take the heels. If you can grab your heels, squeeze your heels with your hands, pull on your heels and press your hips forward at the same time and you'll create a bow effect. Keep lengthening the spine by pressing the knees down. Move slowly, carefully, mindfully. Good, engage your core muscles, press your knees down and lift all the way up. Point your toes, sit back on your heels. Breathe deep, be still, be calm and be focused. Lengthen the spine, exhale, just twist slowly to the right. Stay there. And come back to center. Twist to the left. Good, come back to center. Bring the hands to the floor in front of you. Take it back into a downward facing dog. Inhale forward into plank. Exhale chaturanga. Inhale upward facing dog. Now stay in your upward facing dog. The tops of the feet press down into the floor and activate your legs. So your knees are off the floor. The only part of your legs that's touching the floor is your feet. Your chest is lifting, your arms are pressing firmly down, and your neck is extended. Don't compress the back of your neck. Good, stay there for one more breath, and then lower all the way down onto your stomach. Extend your right arm forward, roll over onto your back. Bend your knees and place your heels close to your buttocks. A good way to check that your heels are in the right place. Make sure you can just touch your heels with your back on, with the crown of the head on the floor. Feet are parallel to each other. Press the heels down into the floor and just lift the hips off the floor. Lift the lower back and the middle back. Now interlace your fingers underneath your sitting bones. Walk your shoulders underneath. Press your heels down more and see if you can move your chest a little bit more towards your chin. Deep breath in. Deep breath out, inhale, exhale, breathe in, breathe out. Press the heels more, lift the hips, and release slowly down to the floor. Setting up for a full wheel, bring your hands next to your ears with your fingers facing towards your body. Your elbows are directly on top of your wrists. And when you're ready, press your hands and your feet evenly, come up. Udva Dhanurasana. Walk the hands in if you can. Now, keep pressing the hands and the feet into the floor evenly and see if you can get your pelvis to lift a little bit more. Now, see if you can move the back of your knees towards your shoulders. It will push you a little bit more up. Stay a little bit longer. Good, chin to chest, lower down onto your back. Breathe in, breathe out, inhale, exhale, second one, hands next to ears, inhale, press up, walk the hands closer to the legs if you can. Now drive your heels down into the floor. Squeeze your legs together. Imagine there was a, like a block or something between your legs. You want that inner line of your legs active. You wanna be relaxed through the spine. You don't wanna be compressing through the spine. You wanna be trying to lengthen the spine at all times. Press down a little more, lift yourself. Chin to chest, lower down.
last one. So there'll be a bit of a variation if you wish to do it. Do it. If you don't wish to do it, just stay with full wheel. Do your five breaths and then come down. Inhale, press up. All the way up. Now bend your elbows and touch the crown of the head to the floor. Bring your hands and interlace your fingers as if you're coming into a headstand. Squeeze the elbows in together. Then press the heels down firmly and lift your pelvis higher. See if you can press the elbows down and reach the crown of the head off the floor with your forearms down onto the mat. Good, Minerva. Press a little bit hard up. Move your knees towards your shoulders. There, that, that, there. Perfect. Chin to the chest. Make your way down. Breathe deep. Now, whatever is just arising for you, just let it arise freely. Deeply surrender. Extend both legs forward. Be long through the legs. Now, pull the right knee into the chest and take the left hand to the outside edge of the right foot. Extend through your right leg. Now take your right leg over to the left side. From here, bend your left leg. Now bend your right leg. And touch the, take the right hand to the leg. See if you can pull on the foot. Hmm? Mm, take your gaze neutral. Yeah. Right. Then slowly come out. Stand the legs full. Now pull your left knee into your chest. Take your right hand to the outside edge of your left foot. Extend your left leg to the sky. Take your right leg, your left leg over to the right side. Now bend your left leg and with your left hand catch your right ankle or your right foot. Now pull both hands into both feet and see if you can create space and access the twist a little bit deeper. Come back to center, slowly release the legs. Hug both knees into the chest. Squeeze the knees into the chest. Take the forehead to the knees. Squeeze yourself into a tight ball. Feel your spine be long. Lengthen all the muscles in the spine. Now with that long extended spine, rock and roll up into a seated position. Spin around and face the front of your mat and extend your legs forward. Now extend your legs fully and press the backs of the legs down into the floor. Form the base first. So you want to have your heels pressing firmly down, the backs of your knees trying to press down into the floor, and then you want to sort of squeeze your legs together and rotate the upper thigh bones inward slightly, which will press your sitting bones down into the floor more. Remove the flesh from underneath your sitting bones. Press your seat down. Engage Mula Bandha and lift up all the way through to the crown of the head. Keep that extension in the spine and start to tilt forward from the pelvis as you exhale. Reaching towards the feet. If you find the feet, take the outside edges of the feet. If you find you easily get to the outside edges of the feet and you can go beyond, you can catch one hand onto the other wrist, loop your shoulders back and down and pull your chest further forward. Activate your legs by pressing the backs of the legs down into the floor more and see if you can roll your pelvis forward, come up more onto the sitting bones. Keep folding forward, deeply surrender.
Push the air deep down into the back of the lungs, stabilizing the base. Stay for a few more breaths. And see if you can pull the chest forwards towards the legs, lengthening the back. Shoulders away from your ears. Now inhale, come up. Bend your knees. Separate the knees wide. Take the soles of the feet together. Baddha Kanasana. Pull your heels a little bit closer towards the pelvis. Lift the chest. Move the pelvis towards the heels. Rotate the legs outwards. Let the knees fall down to the sides. And then take your torso forward. Keep challenging your legs to open. And then inhale, lift up. Extend your legs forward and separate your feet wide. Have your knees slightly bent though, so that your heels are on the outside edge of your mat. Now you're gonna thread both arms underneath your legs with your palms placing, facing down towards the floor. What you're gonna do from here, so your arms are going out to the side, trying to separate your arms wide. Extend the legs into the back of the arms and fold yourself forward, Kurmasana. Now we're trying to expand the shoulders wide. It's going to help you get deeper in. Good, now bend the knees, lift yourself up. Bring the heels to touch. Thread your arms back and around behind your back, rotating the shoulders inwards to do this and then lifting the palms to the sky. Now take the crown of the head forward between the feet. See if you can bring your arms around your back and find a bind. If it happens for you today, it happens. If not, just... Surrender yourself for Supta Kurmasana. If you are super flexible and you know how to, take your legs behind your head and bind. And slowly release, come up. Pull the knees into the chest and extend the legs forward in front of you. Now pull, uh, lift the legs to the sky. No. Navasana. Come into Navasana. Reach the arms forward, lift the chest. Find your breath. Now, if you're here and you're comfortable, I want you to extend your legs, point your toes, take the gaze towards the toes. That's it, breathe deep. Inhale, take both arms up to the sky. Exhale, arms to the right side of the room. Inhale, arms up, exhale, arms to left. Inhale, arms up, exhale, arms to center. Back to center. Now bend your right knee, touch your right toe to the floor. Extend your right leg, bend your left toe, bend left knee, left toe to the floor, extend your left leg. Touch both toes to the floor, then extend both legs up. Breathe now, stay with it. And release down, come to a seated position. Separate your legs wide for Upavishta Konasana. So you want to take your legs wide and same sort of thing. You want to remove the flesh from underneath the sitting bones so that you can really ground the sitting bones down into the floor. Activate the quadriceps. So that's going to pull the femur bones into the pelvis. You want to feel that you're plugging yourself in. Flex the feet, lift the chest, clear the heart. Exhale, fold yourself forward. Hey, Vanessa, your dog is super cute.
Minova, see if you can grab the outside edges of your feet. So bring your feet a little bit closer together. Yes, now you want to bend your elbows, rotate your thighs outwards, press your sitting bones back, lengthen the crown of the head forward, drop down. You should be able to go, yes, there it is. Keep rotating the thighs outwards, bending the elbows and expanding the collarbones. A few more breaths here. Deeply surrender. And coming up. Good. Hug the knees into the chest. Cross the right leg on top of the left. Either press the palms down to the floor next to the sitting bones or in front of the knees. Lift yourself up. Swing your body back. Chaturanga Dandasana. Inhale, upward facing dog. Exhaling, downward facing dog. Stay here. Drop the knees to the floor, find a child's pose. Bring the forearms to the floor in front of you and we'll do Pinchamayarasana. So if Pinchamayarasana was in your practice, please jump up. If not, we'll have a quick little look at it. If you know you have a wall available and you can use the wall, please use the wall. Something that's very important for Pinchamayarasana is to remember that when you're hopping yourself into position or trying to get up, that your core is engaged on the way up. It's very difficult to re-engage the core once you get up. So if you drop the core out on the way up, you're probably not going to be able to refine it. So before you hop, make a conscious effort to activate through the core. With the elbows, keep trying to action the elbows in towards each other. Then press the forearms firmly down. If it's available for you today, drop the head. Stay for as long as you can. And then everybody find their way into child pose. Interlace the fingers, form the base for Shirshasana, your headstand. Take the crown of the head to the floor. Touching the crown of the head to the floor. Extend the legs, lift the sitting bones high. Walk the feet in, lift the legs up. Now, if you just wish to stay in normal headstand today, that's okay. If you want, I'll give you a variation. So you're gonna bend the right leg to 90 degrees and take the left arm towards the back of the room. So you've created like a scissor between your legs. Then you're going to take your right leg across your body and twist through the torso. Come back to centre. Switch the legs. Left leg bends forward, right leg back. Left leg goes across towards the right side, twisting through the torso. Back to centre. Wrap the right leg around the left leg, go and dance on the legs, bend the knees into the chest.
switch the legs, wrap the left leg around the right leg this time. Take the knees into the chest. Slowly make your way down. Finding your way into a child's pose. And roll over onto your back, setting up for a shoulder stand. If you're not doing shoulder stand, Viparita Karani, legs up the wall, perfect option. Take the legs overhead into Halasana, bring the hands to support the lower back. Once you've found a steady, solid base, bring your elbows close together. Then extend the legs to the sky. Squeeze the legs together and reach up through the inside line of your legs. And take the legs overhead. Halasana. Hola, Roja. If the feet have found the floor, interlace the fingers. Press the forearms firmly down into the mat. See if you can lift your hips and extend your spine a little bit more. Bend your knees. Take your knees to either side of your ears, Karnapindasana. Squeeze the knees in. Release the palms flat to the floor, lower down vertebrae by vertebrae, all the way onto your back. Press the elbows down, lift the body up, take the crown of the head back to the floor, the counter pose, Matsyasana or fish.
Press your elbows down. Lift your body, tuck your chin into your chest. Lower down onto your back and deeply let go for a moment. Then just casually make your way to a comfortable seated position. Just make your seat as comfortable as possible. Have your shoulders away from your ears. Be still, close your eyes, shift your attention to your breath. In the Buddhist tradition they speak of emotions as forms of energy and one of the really brilliant things about energy is that it can be transformed from one state to another and I think one of the mysteries of existence or, or humanity is our ability to sort of transform these emotional states or forms of energy inside ourselves and this practice leads to the understanding that certain emotions are more beneficial than others. Certain forms of thinking are more positive and uplifting. And they call it the, the light of mindfulness has the ability to transform. And just like the lotus flower grows from the mud, to the light. As practitioners we follow this path. And it's important that we be attentive to the darkest places inside of us. We shine as much light as possible. So we deeply follow our breathing. We deeply go inside, we look carefully, with compassion, using the power of volition or intention to transform what's inside of us. This practice is a practice of purification and in stillness in surrender we empower these minds, mindsets and they call it the immeasurable mind, and they call it the immeasurable mind because they are applicable to any situation, they are beneficial to any situation, and their capacity is limitless. The four immeasurable minds are love, peace, joy, love, and equanimity. So at any stage, any situation, these powerful mindsets can be applied and utilized. As practitioners, we are kind of like farmers, we are sowing the seeds of these mindsets, we're watering the seeds every day. 
making sure they get enough sunlight. Making sure they get enough fresh oxygen. Slowly make your way onto your backs and take Shavasana. Shavasana, it's important that we deeply let go. Deeply let go of all phenomena. All interpretations, inner dialogues, inner monologues. Anticipations. Memories. Let them all be. When we suspend the mind, we allow ourselves an opportunity to have a genuine encounter with the present moment. Slowly start to move your fingertips and your toes. And then turn your head from side to side. to your favorite side of your body. Just be here for a moment. Be still.
and make your way to a comfortable seated position. Bring the hands together in front of the heart. We dedicate this practice to the benefit of all beings. May all beings be happy and may all beings be at peace. May the thoughts, the words and the actions of our lives contribute in some way to that happiness and to that freedom for all. Namaste.